The campus ministry of Campus Crusade for Christ in the United States has mobilized hundreds of students to come to Haiti after the earthquake to help with construction projects, to help with delivering aid, to help come alongside Haitian college students who are Christians to disciple them and mentor them and how they might be able to in turn develop a multiplying movement, spiritual movement of college students here in Haiti. My name is Stephanie Moberg. My name is um, Pierre Nikenso. My name is TJ Habel. My name is Bethany Schindler. My name is Mark Gothier. I go to George Mason University. My friends call me Nikki. I'm the National Director for the U.S. Campus Ministry of Campus Crusade for Christ. I'm from the University of La Crosse, Wisconsin. And I go to the University of North Dakota. I'm down here outside of Chambrun, uh, Haiti, with uh, GAIN, uh, USA, and a lot of other incredible volunteers and partners. Like many of you, when I heard what happened in Haiti, uh, my heart went out to the people here. And uh, I wanted to help, and I know many of you, you want to help. The day before the earthquake, I got a dream. I saw in my dream a lot of people, white people come with machine guns, with dogs, and they are looking for people. I didn't know what is that mean exactly. I, I pray God, I say, God, I know you are perfect and you know everything. So if something gonna happen in my family or if something gonna happen in Haiti, in my house, if something, something gonna happen, I will like so you protect me and my family. And after praying, I, I decide I supposed to go to, to school uh, to teach and I decided to not go. I got to the bathroom and I brushed my, my teeth. So, and that time I felt the air, my house was checking. First of all, I didn't know what does that mean exactly. I heard some, the, the, the house um, checking and I, 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 I hugged my, my mom, my sister, and my brothers. And we, uh, and I, we went out quickly. And after 20 minutes like this, the house was broken. We have um, so many um, friends, they come to Haiti and they help us. Um, they come with materials, with cars, with a lot of things. They help Haitian people. I usually wake up around 7 and have my quiet time on the roof with God. We have breakfast at 8.30 and we usually meet in small groups. And after that, we usually go to work projects. Some people go teach at the school. They teach English to the kids. Some people go to the clinic and pray for all of the patients there or help in the pharmacy. Some people go to the orphanage and play with the kids there and just show them God's love. We have lunch and we usually will either learn some Creole, some of the language that they speak here, or we'll go back into more projects. Sometimes we'll get to go to an IDP camp. I think we've gotten to go about five times. We're down here in just in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, um, distributing food to some of the tent cities that have developed after the earthquake when people's homes were ruined. Madame, you know. Okay, okay. Nice to meet you. And yeah, and you trust Jesus to forgive your sins? Yeah. We. All right. <laughs> That's great. Well, we, we, we want to share the love that Jesus had for us with the hurting people in Haiti. Being here has definitely been the best decision, or one of the best decisions of my life. He's really broken my heart for the Haitian students, and he's given me a good perspective on suffering and how to um, accept that God's hand is still a part of Haiti. With a lot of the Haitian students I work with, their desire to know God and their love for their own country is just beyond anything I could ever imagine. One word or sentence about what God is doing in Haiti, I think would be, I don't know if this is the right word, but revival and restoration. God is, he has changed so many hearts since the earthquake. I've talked to so many people who didn't want to know Jesus before the earthquake and then it happened and now everybody wants to go to church. Everyone is seeking after God. What I know in my faith, I know God has a plan for Haiti. He has something better for Haiti. That's why he, he, he let that happen like this. That's why I, I don't want to be sad anymore because I don't want to be sad, no. Not to be sad anymore because Jesus Christ knows exactly what was happening and he knows 
why we're gonna happen lately. I would encourage people to come down here on a trip because it totally changes your view of the world and of different cultures. It completely rocked my world. This trip has changed my life completely. And I know everyone says, like, you go on a mission trip, it'll change your life. And I kind of believe that, but being here, I completely and definitely agree. It changes your life. As a result of the college students being here, I believe the next generation of leaders can be trained as they're leaving their mark on the life of college students here in Haiti. For details, go to gainusa.org.